Well, hello, Steven. What's up, man? I, you gave me a lot to fucking read when I first get in here. So you're looking to get in this game earlier, but I didn't get it. I was on Hogwarts... Ho Hogwarts? Hogwarts Legacy? Dude, I've heard Hogwarts Legacy is pretty fucking fire. I've just never been a fan of Harry Potter. So that's... That's where I'm at on, on the Harry Potter stuff. I, I mean, I've heard it's a fantastic game. Mechanically, uh, obviously graphically, it's supposed to be really good. I've never personally, like I said, I've never personally liked Harry Potter. What's up, Steven? What is up? Whenever you get a chance, bro, if you like Monster Hunter, if you like Monster Hunter, you should get this game. It's, it's Monster Hunter in all the right ways. <clears throat> But it's it's different enough to stand on its own, if that makes any sense. But and you got your PS5 yesterday. Let's fucking go, bro. They're they're slowly slowly becoming more uh, available. So eventually we'll get the whole world on PS5s that don't have one already. Eventually. <clears throat> but it's good to hear from you, man. I hope you're enjoying Hogwarts Legacy. I'll never get it. Like, again, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Harry Potter enough to get it. I've 
not to say that the that the Harry Potter IP is bad. I just I've just never got into it. But I hope you're having <clears throat> hope you're having fun with it, man. I know a couple people that's got it and they love it. They absolutely love it. <clears throat> but yeah, this game is this game's pretty fire. I've put a little bit of time into Wild Hearts. Uh I wish I could see I wish I could te it's like see exactly how much time I've put in it. I might be able to actually. If if uh let me see. Let's see. Diablo 4, Dead Island 2, WWE, 2K23, Spider-Man 2, and the new Star Wars game. Okay. I I'm down for Spider-Man 2. I I quit. I quit playing uh I quit playing the WWE stuff. I haven't played WWE games in a long time. Same same with like Madden. Like sports games I really don't fuck with anymore. It's just not my thing. It's bomb. Yes, it is Digic. Welcome in, bro. The bow is absolutely bomb as fuck. I've been messing with it a little bit. I've crafted like a couple different weapons in this game, but the bow is by far my favorite so far. Battlefield 2042 on PS Plus in March finally have people to play with. <laughs> yeah, finally. I'm surprised people even play that shit, bro. Like, I was so hyped for... 2042 and it was such a letdown like it was such a letdown when it dropped i was so upset because like i loved i loved battlefield 3 and 4 i put over a thousand hours into both games individually i played the shit out of battlefield 3 and 4 and then i thought battlefield 2042 was going to be like a return to form and it definitely was not oh i'm so congested Ah. They fixed it by the time I got it like three months ago. Yeah, like, I don't know what you mean by they fixed it. Like, I don't know, man. Like, my, my complaints with 2042 when it first dropped was it was too big. Like, everybody always thinks bigger is better. Everybody everybody always thinks bigger is better when it comes to like shooter games, especially Battlefield games, but it's just fucking it was too big for its own good. There was so much empty space in between objectives. Like typically with a Battlefield title, you want there to be empty space in between of in between objectives, but it just there was too much. There were there were known pathways that people go and that was it. And then the rest of the map is literally just useless, like, useless trash. Biggest issue people had was building destruction, being gone from it. Yeah, the, for the most part, there was a lot, well, there was a pretty decent amount of, like, destruction. There's not m as much as there was in, like, uh, what was it? It was, uh, Bad Company 2. Bad Company 2, every single building could be taken down to the foundation, which was crazy. Girlfriend 2042 is better? I feel that, Digic. I feel that, bro. Absolutely. <laughs> not as glitchy as the neck... Not as glitchy in the neck code is better? I might have to give it a download. Like, I bought the game. Like unfortunately i bought the game so like i've still got it in my library so i can literally just download it and test it at any time i know i've seen some articles where they went back to uh where they went back to the class system that wasn't even really an issue for me uh elden ring finally gets some dlc oh dude i saw that shadow of the Ur tree oh like the the photo that they posted like where the Erd tree is burnt and wilted, I wonder if it's gonna, it's gotta take place after like the events of the main story, right? It's gotta be the story that happens afterward. It's gotta be. That's gonna be super exciting. I'm, I'm gonna get that. I'm definitely gonna get the Elden Ring DLC for fucking sure. Everyone I know hated. Uh, they couldn't take down buildings, even like Battlefield, 
even like Battlefield 3 and 4. Yeah, Battlefield 3 and 4 had reduced building destruction. There was still parts of buildings you couldn't destroy. But it wasn't that big of a wasn't that big of an issue. Not for me anyway. But I never really played Bad Company 2 where you could bring everything down. I watched a guy that played it, but I never played it myself. <laughs> I'm ready to break my controller again. You can't be doing that, man. Controllers are fucking expensive nowadays. Really fucking expensive. They said they did, but you can still be a uh, sneaky snipey boy with a Gustav. Ooh. Ugh. I, like, I played Battlefield 1, and I enjoyed it for the most part, but there wasn't enough content to keep me there. And there wasn't enough, like, weapon variety. I didn't like the weapon variety in Battlefield 1, and I never played Battlefield 5. Like I watched, uh, I watched Matimio play it. You know, he like him and the Russian Badger was uh, uh, who else? Level Cap, those guys on YouTube that were like Battlefield content creators. I watched those guys a lot. Yo, Nathan, whoop whoop, what's up, dog? Welcome in, bro. Uh, how far am I into Wild Hearts? I th think. I am on chapter three. I am right at the start of chapter three. So if you take a look right here. <clears throat> so I finished chapter one, which is these two islands. Chapter th uh, chapter two involves these two islands and this island. And then at chapter three, I have yet to start chapter three yet. I've just kind of been hanging out in chapter two. Apparently, I think there's like five chapters. I think. But I've been, kind of, like I said, I've been kind of hanging out in chapter two, just hunting uh, hunting some other stuff, like the, uh, the variations of Lava Back and uh, Tusk, King Tusk, which is like Ice Tusk now. Crossbow challenges are finally all unlocked. Let's fucking go, dude. I'm gonna be I'm gonna get that crossbow. I'm gonna get that crossbow and I'm gonna get good with it like I was in uh Modern Warfare 2019. It's gonna be fire. Alright, Nathan. Let me let me show you this uh hold on, let me get the audio turned on. Okay, let me show you this uh this bow real fast. All right, so I've got a I've got a training dummy up here that I can show you. So, essentially, you've got two you've got two stances, right, with the bow. Like I was telling you at work, me, Lane, and some of my other buddies, uh, free for all, and me and him were on the top. Ooh, fuck yeah, dude! I don't play free for all. I used to. I might need to start playing free for all a little bit more, just to kind of like. Just to kind of cheese people with shotguns and get like infinite uh, death comms. That would be some pretty funny content. <laughs> but uh, so we're going to do uh, a slight bow overview real fast. And uh, I'll try to explain why I love this weapon so much. It, it, it felt a little clunky at first. But once you get used to like the dodge timings... And the way that the flow of this works. Nah, in a custom for bragging. Oh, okay. Oh, we need to 1v1, by the way. Next time why next time I get on COD, you mentioned something about 1v1ing. I'm totally down for that. That sounds like fun. Alright, but with the bow, you've got two separate stances. You've got the the horizontal stance, which is uh which shoots higher arrows. So you shoot one, and then two arrows, and then three arrows, and then it starts back over. One, two, three. Maybe you can see the numbers here. Yeah. One, two, three. And when you're shooting from this stance, you can see these, uh, this light. These arrows don't do a lot of damage. Like, don't do a lot of damage. But they stay inside the kimono for a little while. And then what you do is you swap to the vertical stance and you can hold to charge up to two levels. And when you release, 
All of those arrows that you stuck in the kimono explode for a big chunk of burst damage. So that is essentially the the loop with the bow. So you could just walk around and you know dodge some some of the kimono attacks, and then when you feel like you've got enough of the the horizontal arrows in there, you swap to vertical, and then you blow them all up. Sounds good. Have you played GF? What is GF? What's GF, Dig uh, Digic? I assume when you said it before, you meant girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I thought that meant. But uh, that's essentially the uh, the rotate. Now there's this other mechanic called bolstering your bow or charging your bow. And you can charge your bow up to two times. And each charge does something different. So we're going to start out with the, the horizontal mode. So let's switch to horizontal mode. And you if you hit triangle or Y on Xbox, you... You can charge your bow, and as you can see, it turns red. And when you, instead of shooting one, two, and three arrows, you do this, like, burst, where I think you shoot seven arrows. So let's count. So charge. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So it shoots eight. And as you do that, it drains stamina. And you can just do that over and over again. And you can also move, you can also move while you're firing these arrows. So you have a little bit of mobility. You can't move very fast. But what you can do is, hold on, I'm fucking up. So if you do this, you can also hit the dodge button. So you can dodge back and forth while you, uh, while you fire these. And if you bolster your, if you charge your, uh, fuck. <laughs> I keep getting the terminology mixed up. And if you bolster your bow twice, one, two, you go into this, uh, this rain of arrows or volley that you can aim the trajectory as the, the arrows will rain down. blow all these up real fast okay now while you can uh while you can definitely you know shoot them high and let the arrows rain down what i find is pretty beneficial is if you pull that arc all the way down so like if i'm way back here i can push it down and the arrows won't go as high they'll just kind of go flat in a flat arc instead of going up like a like a U shape they'll go in more of like a you know a concave so it's it's more traditional aiming that way but you can definitely like if you wanted to craft a a wall Digic, I don't, I don't know what you're, uh, I don't know what you're saying, bro. Like, I see GF. Do you mean Battlefield? I have definitely played Battlefield 2042. But anyway, you can definitely like. GGs, <laughs> dude. Yeah, you've got me. You've got me fucked up. <laughs> But if you charge, you can de you can shoot these over. It's hard to see. But you can definitely shoot these over the wall. I'm trying to show you like the There it is. It's it's a little harder to do, but it's definitely doable. The bow can turn into hammer now. How? Ah, fucking ladybugs. 
So that's essentially the two different modes uh, that you can charge your bow to. So you get the burst that you can fire, and then if you bolster twice, you get the volley. Now, you in vertical, you can also... Uh, I haven't played this game. I played Monster Hunter. Oh, okay. This It's it's basically the same thing with a couple different... It's got its own differences that make it unique. I like it. I've played both. I've played Monster Hunter World, and I've played this. I haven't played Rise. I haven't played Monster Hunter Rise, but this... This game's pretty good on its own. I think it's I think it's unique enough to uh, set itself apart from Monster Hunter. They can both exist simultaneously. Uh, but you can also with the bow, you can uh, you can bolster it once for a shot that does 50 damage that also explodes on impact, and it blows up all the the Haya arrows that you've stuck in the behemoth. Now, if you bolster it twice, what will happen? is you will be stationary when you pull this bow back, but this is your strongest, this is your strongest damaging shot. So if you were to bolster twice, you've gotta be sure, you've got to be really sure that you can get this off or that you want to trade. Cause you're, you're stuck here. You can't dodge out of that. You can't dodge roll out of that animation until you until you release the arrow and even still I, I think you're stuck you might be able to like conjure a karakuri to like cut the animation short after you release it yeah so what you do to animation cancel the end of the shot is you uh, you conjure something you know like a like a, you know, a spring or a box or a stake, you conjure something, and it will, uh, it will, it will animation cancel the last half of the, uh, the shot. So you pull back, you let go, and conjure. So I just conjured a box to just cancel that animation. So that kind of helps you stay on your feet. Especially if uh, if the behemoth is extremely aggressive. I keep saying behemoth like this is fucking dauntless. But <laughs> it's kimono. I should just say monster because that's what it is. So, the typically, you have uh, a couple different uh, karakuri that you can use. Right, so you've got a box. So what you can do is you can jump off the box. And when you jump off the box, it allows you to shoot this shockwave arrow, which the shockwave arrow, <clears throat> the shockwave arrow uh, detonates all your Haya arrows. And depending on how many boxes you jump off of, it will put your bow into a charged state. So, you don't get anything from jumping off the level 1 box. See, and then you just go straight into firing your normal uh, high of arrows. But if you were to do a, a second box, <clears throat> when, you, when you land after the shockwave, you'll be in level 1 bolstered bow. So, you jump, shoot, and when you land... You'll already have a level one boosted, uh, boosted bow, which will allow you to do a volley, not a volley, but a, a burst. So it automatically gives you a level one bolstered bow whenever you jump off of two boxes. If you were to make three boxes high, see, I, I don't have a charge right now. You run up, do the shock wave, and when you land, you're gonna have a level two bolstered, uh. You'll have a level 2 bolstered bow. So let's jump, blast, land with level 2, and you can immediately go into the the volley. You can immediately go into the volley. I hate melees in Warzone. What kind of melees are you running into, Ram? 
Like, what do people actually run melee-wise in, uh, in Warzone? So that is, uh, <clears throat> that is your, that's how the bow interacts with boxes. You have this spring here that essentially gives you, like, a shit ton of invincibility frames. Oh, pistol melee's off spawn. Oh, like getting like getting pistol whipped off spawn. Yeah, that's that's fucking tough. I hate dude, like I don't hate Warzone. It's just not my cup of tea. I've had people like want me to play, and I've played a couple games of it. It's just not my thing. But now we have uh, we have a spring here that essentially vaults us and gives us some invincibility invincibility frames. And how this works with uh, with the bow is, let me get a little bit of distance on these. So let me go ahead and conjure a spring. So what this does will launch you in a uh, like this will launch you in a specific direction. And when you attack, you'll do this like scatter shot with like five arrows, and you'll throw five arrows into the behemoth and will land automatically with a level one bolstered bow. And if you're in the horizontal highest stance, you can immediately go into a burst to, to be able to pepper the kimono with a lot of arrows really fast. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you do multiple springs. Let's try it. Okay, nothing. Literally nothing. Okay, so there's no benefit. There's no benefit to using more than one spring. So just keep one spring, jump, scatter shot directly into a burst. And then swap to your vertical. One, two, boom. Now that's a lot of damage. Now this is an early game bow, by the way. This is not even that. This doesn't even scratch the surface of how much like damage you can do. Now, there's this Karakuri, which is called the Glider, which allows you to essentially. Uh, it's essentially a level 3 box jump that you can use over and over and over. Somehow an RPK being able to move faster than the MP5 melees. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. You would think that an LMG would be slower even melee wise than, uh, than an MP5. I don't know why they don't do that. I mean, it might, it might fuck with the code of the game a little bit. But that would make sense that if you melee with a heavier weapon, it's the melee animations are going to be slower. So you should, in theory, you should be able to get off multiple melees with a uh, with an MP5 before you would an RPK, just because the gun itself is heavier. That's just what I think. But if we want to use the glider, we just walk into it. And it lifts us into the air. And as long as we hit the attack button, we can go into that shockwave shot. And we can land with a guaranteed level 2 bow. And go immediately into the volley. So now that we've pumped a bunch of Haya arrows into the behemoth. All we would need to do is normally... The... The glider wouldn't be destroyed. The glider would just land there and it would be you would be able to use it again. So what you would do is you would walk back into it, adjust yourself, and then boom. And then you would shoot from the top of the glider. See, watch. See? And it lands. And you can literally keep using this again. So essentially, you go boom. You volley. You volley, it lands right next to you, you grab the glider, you blast, land with a level two, volley, and rinse and repeat. And that is, that is essentially the, uh, the, that's essentially the attack pattern of the, uh, of the bow. Now you have to mix 
depending on the situation and the kimono you're fighting, you have to mix and match these different, uh, these different karakuri. So, like, your boxes, your, uh, your springs. It's all gonna depend on the situation. But it definitely makes the bow super fucking fun and super agile. Let's see. Now, there's another Karakuri that I haven't really fucked with, which is called the, the Spike. It's like an accordion that has, like, a spike on it. And when you shoot it... Now, I don't know about that. Hold on a second. We got to test that. Why does it keep launching me backwards? That's so weird. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's it's doing some weird shit like it launches me backwards. Yeah, see I don't I don't know about the spike. That's a little weird. And maybe, maybe it's just because this thing is super low to the ground. I'm going to have to test it on some actual uh, kimono that are bigger and that move around a little bit. But we'll definitely have to do that. I really wish uh, shipment was a thing I could have. Wait, did they get rid of shipment? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean you wish shipment was something you could have? Don't we still have shipment? Did they get rid of it? Did they, did they vault it for now? Okay. So, what we might do is we're probably... Uh, oh, let me see what these vegetables have. Collect ingredients. Collect ingredients. Collect ingredients. Let's see what we got. Dried vegetables. Okay, I see. Oh, shipment 24-7's gone? Yikes. That's unfortunate. Shit, I didn't know that. When did they take shipment out? Okay, let's just go hunt. Fuck it. Let's do chapter two. I've got to do the bewildering blue blaze quest, which we hunt a cobalt lava back. Let's do it. Gotta stay hydrated, folks. It'd be really nice for these challenges. Oh, that's how I grinded challenges, dude. Was uh was shipment 24/7. For sure. Was shipment 24/7. Are you sure cuz I'm pretty sure I've played sh Oh, shipment 24/7. Shipment is still here, but shipment 24/7's gone. I see what you mean. Okay. Let's find this lava back. There he is, the fat shit. All right, guys, let's go get him. Oh, I need to eat. I need to eat first before I go fuck with this guy. Can I, like, hold on. Let's see if I can, yeah, we can place another one of these. Fuck yeah. All right, let me eat real fast. Let's do some dried veggies. Let's do boom. And let's do another one of these. All right. Can I, can I place it there? Fuck no. Ooh, what about on a tree? How far out can I go with it? Can I get it on that tree top right there? That'd be really sick. I can. Let's go. Hunt in lava bags. Yoink. <clears throat> Knifing on hydro against RPK face skin sweats. We've already talked about 
we've already talked about Call of Duty uh, pro skins, man. That shit's weird. That shit's weird as fuck to me. All right, lava back. Let's go, baby girl. Wait, let me see if I can uh, activate this dragon well real fast. Nope, I don't have enough crystals. Fuck it. All right. So I'm just going to, like, get a fully charged shot off. Because as long as I don't attack him, he's not going to, like, hurt me. The fight doesn't start until I attack. Yeah, right in his booty. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Woo! Oh, fucking shit. Glider. And then see you blast it. Uh-oh. Gotta roll through that. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh! Oh, he's right under me. Ow, oh, shit, he slammed me. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We just gotta... Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge! Alright, we're good. There we go. You don't like that, huh? Let's try this. See, that's so weird, bro. I don't like that steak. Huh? What the fuck? What happened? Oh, no. Oh, crap. I forgot that he does that. All right, got to Ah, yeah, here we go. Let's let's get some of this. Nope. This dog, these dogs. These dogs are going to eat all of my arrows. You've got to be kidding. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, wow. Okay. I I started that too early. Nope. I screwed up. Ouch. I literally dodged right into him. Ah. Uh, we're going to be okay. We're going to be fine. There it is. That's what we want. See? There we go. Let's go up. And... Oh, no. Oh! He can hit me in the air from that. Come on, baby. Come on. What do you want? What do you got? One, two, blast. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, these dogs are getting on my fucking nerves. Ah! 
I bought it because the weapon skin looked cool. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to, like, I'm talking about the people that, like, uh, the people that, like, wear the, like, the character skin. Like, the weapon skins are fine. Like, if you buy them for the weapon skins, that's, that's all Gucci. But it's, it's the people that wear, like, the pro, like, the, the pro character skins that are, that are kind of off to me. <clears throat> All right. This round's gonna go better. He's gonna immediately, like, go Nova. And we're gonna pepper him right here. Oh, can't do that. Gotta roll out of that. All right, grab the glider. Boo! Oh, you motherfucker. What? And he runs away again. I used to rock the black on red because it kind of looked good. Some of them do, yeah. But all these new ones are, like, super bright. Where did he go? Where did he go? He's got to be close by. Oh, there he is. I can't even see if I'm hitting him. Most definitely not hitting him. All right, we're going to drop down. Oh, I fucked up. One, two... Let's get one off before he goes crazy. No! Come here! Bro, where is he going? This guy is moving around so much. What is this bullshit? Every time I get a combo started, he leaves. He, he did not go back the way he came. Ugh. This is unfortunate. Big monkey. Go, like, I, I'm gonna let him fully charge. Because every time, every time I fuck with him, every time I fuck with him, he leaves. Go ahead and slam the ground, monkey man. Go ahead. All right, now fight me. Come on, throw it. Yeah, boy, that's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Oh, I forgot he does that. Uh, no. <laughs> this is weird. Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Ah, no. I'm in fucking trouble. I'm in trouble. Build a wall. Heal. All right. Run up the wall. Blast him. Nope. Boom. There we go. Oh, I knew I was going to take that, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and heal. Dude, these dogs, if they knock me out of this, I'm pissed. Let's go, baby. Move. Uh. One, two, three. Oh, you shitbags. bags. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, you guys are gonna die. Get out of my face! Dude, I hate these things. This game is so goddamn good. I know. This it's it's a good game, Digic. I would recommend whenever you get the money to get it, it is definitely worth the money. I have it I've I'm like halfway through the game's story right now. And they've already announced DLC for this game. There's gonna be new there's gonna be new monsters and new armor sets. You know why it's lagging? I I mean, it doesn't feel like it's lagging. What you you'll see some like you'll see some frame drops. You'll see some frame drops, but it doesn't impact me that much. Like I don't mind it. Can I like hit him from here? It has too much faces. Tie rendering takes a long time. See, he's just gonna go over here. See, I knew it. I knew the moment that I fucking touched him, he was gonna be a little bitch. Dude. Oh my lord. This guy. Same as every model from Koei Tecmo Games. The optimization for the game sucks, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like I've seen, I've seen uh, where people on PC can't even play the game because performance is so bad. It's probably a, uh, it's probably a game optimized for console, if I had to guess. Oh wow! All right, come on, baby, come on. Oh, is he dead? Oh, did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Big monkey. Big mad. Bye-bye. Easy. I say easy. The hardest part was tracking him down. He kept leaving. <coughs> nice. The optimization for this game sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, the the game is pretty poorly optimized. I will say that, because I do have constant frame dips, but the frame dips aren't bad enough to the point where it makes the game unplayable. But like I said, I've seen I've seen people on PC like I've seen some PC gameplay that looks absolutely fucking horrendous. But for me, it's it's been fine. It's been it's been hella fun, but I play it on PS5. So like I said, it was probably more optimized for uh it was probably more optimized for consoles. And the devs have even said that they're like they're working on the frame issue. Uh but it's apparently it's apparently something to do with the actual coding of the game. So they they have to mess with the game's coding to even fix it, so they're taking their time with it. That way they don't fuck the whole game up. So I can I can definitely understand and get behind that. There's at least one job you've completed for the Guild of Fishermen. Hell yeah. Okay, what do we got? Spirit iron, test of strength. But it's it's definitely a super fun game. I've been enjoying my time with it. I would I would say that the optimization that the optimization on console, at least PlayStation 5 is uh is pretty good. It's good enough to where like if you're going to get it on a PS5, I would say get it. Now, if you're going to get it on like PC, I would definitely wait. But with the fact that they're already going to release the fact that they're already going to release um DLC for the game and it's been confirmed is definitely like oh shit 
I say it's worth it. But I, I love games like this. These games are fucking sick. Damn it. Let's get some... Dried knotweed. Smoked veggies. The... The crafting system in this game is kind of... Is pretty good, too. So, it's not like Monster Hunter, where each particular meal has a has a value that gives you more health and stamina. Uh, you can kind of mix and match what foods you eat, and you'll find different foods on different islands. You'll find different foods on different islands. Uh, but what you can do is, after you've collected food, you can make these drying racks, and when you dry a food... It essentially enhances the the raw stats that that food gives you, and uh, you can you can mix and match. Apparently, there's drying, there's pickling, and then there's smoking. So that's that's pretty insane. That's pretty in depth. Alright, we're just going to go ahead with chapter 3. We're going to go ahead and go with chapter 3. Alright, give me one second. Let me... I want to turn the actual in-game music back on because I do enjoy this game's music. Okay. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Map. Fuyufusagi. Wait. Fuyufusagi. Fuyufusagi? That's weird. Alright, so I've obviously been playing this shit offline too. So I just got to the point where you fight the big uh, snow wolf. I did that bit. All right, let's continue the story. Ugh. Gotta stay hydrated. Gotta stay hydrated. <clears throat> Doesn't the forest look strange to you over there? Where? Ah! It's so bright. The fuck you talking about? Head to where the abnormal changes are happening. <clears throat> Whee! See, there's even footprints that leaves behind in the snow. That's actually pretty tight. And slide marks. I don't know how long they last, but... Alright, let's get some of these turnips. Alright, bro, I have to go my... Go get my kids. I'll catch you later. Hey, man. No problem. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping in. You and the kiddos have a good time. Like I said, man, I appreciate you coming in. You were here fucking early, too, man. But I appreciate you stopping by, dude, as always. Gotta get these turnips. What's going on over here? At the forest. Okay. Whoa. It's a king tusk and an, and an ice tusk. I don't have to fight both of these things, do I? Oh, damn, they're locking horns. Hey, I got the frost one. My money's on the frost one. Unless this one is, uh... Can you take it down? Which one am I taking down? Oh, the mighty King Tusk. Oh, is this a variant? Is this, like, uh, harder stuff? Dude, it just, it just told that one to piss off. Alright. 
if this is what we're doing, they can just make it easy for the game to render easily if they simplify the faces or reduce the number of faces. I guess so. Alright, here we go. I don't I don't imagine this would be any different than like I need to get away from this guy. Ow. He's fucking stomping on me. Oh, whoa. What is that? Okay, so he summons roots from the ground. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah, this guy looks a little bit different. All right, can I grab that? Ah, let's go, baby. No, I need to get over to it. Ah, here we go, Hunter's arm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, he moved, what a bitch. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, I need to stay in that, don't I? Yeah. Here we go, baby. Rinse and repeat. Uh-oh. Come on, I gotta run up and blast him. Up we go. Shazam! Damn it. Damn it! We almost got it. Dude, these fucking... It's these wolves that, like, are getting on my fucking nerves. The game could literally render much better if they had less polygons. Well, I feel I feel like nowadays... I feel like nowadays with uh, technology the way that it is and with hardware being as strong as it is, you shouldn't have to really lower the polygons. Like, there's... There are games that don't look as good that... that or there are games that look better that run better than these games. It may just be it may just be something to do with uh, that developer in particular, like Koei Tecmo. But even still, like I think it's just an optimization uh, problem. If you ask me, there's there's definitely still ways to render like highly detailed faces they can reduce the number of uh polys in the model maybe may, i mean maybe that is the case uh oh let's just go ahead and build a wall real fast get a little closer i hate these fucking dogs dude Oh, dude, I didn't know we could do that. That's cool as shit. Slide. Okay, that's fine.
Ah, oh, I tried to dodge out of that. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We need to pepper its face. I need those horns. Oh, it's gonna, you're gonna be fine. All right, we're gonna try to get off a blast, a huge one. Come on, baby, come on, baby, sit still. Move. That's what I'm looking for. Come on, one more. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Woo! All right, I need you to charge, big boy. I need you to charge. That's not what I wanted! Ah! That's not what I wanted. I need those tusks. I want them tusks. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm stunned. Ah, wake up. All right, we're going to heal up. And we're going to float over it. You move! Launch into his face! <laughs> and we grab the glider and shebang! Ah, uh, dude, these fucking dogs, bro. Don't run, don't, don't, kill. yes! There we go. There's still more over there, dude. One, two, boom. It's gotta be close to dead. It is. Hell yeah, bro. Dude, these dogs are getting on my last fucking nerve. Out of my face. I'm telling you, the bow is probably my favorite <laughs> weapon in this game so far. Yeah, the PC optimization is absolute trash. I've seen I've seen some of the videos, because I've been trying to keep an eye on this game and like any updates that's coming out for it. The PC optimization of this game is fucking garbage. I feel really bad for PC players because this is such a good game and half of them can't even play it on thousand dollar rigs. It's insane. And then here I am on my $600 console where like I can't even hold 60 frames per second and I'm still having a blast. Like I said, it did like... The game itself doesn't have to be perfect, but like, I would rather have a stable frame rate than uh, good graphics. But yeah, if they're putting too many polygons and triangles in the face models, they can definitely lower that shit. Cause half the time you don't even you don't even see you don't even see your player model's face anyway. Like you don't even see your character's face. Half the time you have on a fucking helmet or a hood. And I mean, even if you didn't, look, you're looking at the back of your character's head. Not once are you doing this, except for, like, in very small situations. But, like, while you're fighting a monster or a kimono, you're not looking at your character's face. So if that's what it is, if it's the amount of polygons in faces, yeah, they need to, they need to reduce that shit for sure. Shazam!
Got it. Let's go, baby. Win! Get wrecked. That's a mighty king tusk. So apparently, the, apparently the the mighty version of these things give uh, better armor. It's almost like in Monster Hunter where you have normal behemoths or normal monsters and then high rank monsters and then tempered monsters. I think they still have the same class of monster after this. <clears throat> I think uh, I think later there's like volatile kimono, because it's like kimono, mighty kimono, and volatile kimono. So, and I think each different type of kimono gives a different armor piece. <coughs> Which, if that's true, that's cool. <laughs> I will agree, though, that the faces in this game are extremely high quality. Even if, like, even if, like, the textures are absolute trash, the, the face mesh, like, the face mesh look really, really good, and that's probably the problem. What? What? A huge kimono here in Minato. It's the bird of auspice. So, Amaterasu. Uh oh. Is Minato going to be destroyed? That's not good. Maybe not. Maybe not. What's wrong with Daisy? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it's fucked up. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Yo, it fucked up everything. Yikes. Yo. I thought that was like a good kimono. It's done nothing but good this entire time. Am I going to have to take that one down too? I really don't want to. But dog, this is our home. I'll fucking, I'll bring it down. Wow, are we gonna have to relocate? Oh crap. We know the help we can get. What do I do? Do I just hunt this thing? I bet I do. That's probably what that upper area is for. Maybe. Oh, is this just us putting it out? Putting out the fire? Please help! It cuts to the fires being out. Mm. That's not good. Even the spirit wheel. Oh yeah, the big spirit wheel that like powers everything. The seaward side of town, every residence lies in ruin. We're powerless to do anything. Well, looks like a bird that's got to die. Well, 
そこには何の違いも共存できているうちは吉兆の鳥なんて呼んでありがたがることもできますけど対立すればただの敵でしかないんですからねええ、so. 本当にその通りです That's, uh... 怒ってしまったことは受け止めてこれからの What do we do? Um, perhaps p e r s u a l or my wares would be as good as a place to start. Perusal. Wow. Haste hurts progress. Okay. So I guess we just gotta go look around and assess the damage. Wow. Fucking burn down everything, including like everything except for the stuff that I've put up. <laughs> What are the odds of that? I made my stuff out of stronger wood, I guess. That's cringe. あるものはいずれ必ず壊れてしまうものも,も,も,も,も,も,も,も,も、oh, no. 一夜で焼け落ちたところも石同士も、yeah. けれど今<笑> Look around me now too Do I gotta Say a Matarasu comes back Would Minato get wiped out? Yeah probably そっかもし Minato が滅んじまったら Like, don't worry, I'm gonna fucking hunt it. It's gonna die. This bird's gonna fucking die. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck this thing up. What about upstairs? What happened up top? I mean, I really don't know what to do. What do we do? Do we just look around? Okay, no one's up here. Do I have to talk to like all these people with shit above their heads? Can I just talk to her? Yeah, there we go. She led you on the way. Okay. Yeah, I guess I gotta talk to everybody with like something over their head. Fuck, I don't know. Damn. Not entirely sure what all else I can do, really. It says look around to assess the damage, and I mean, I'm looking, but I obviously have to be in like the right spot. They mentioned like the, the sea half, the seaward side, not being able to do anything. So let's check that side out, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, place is fucked up. I mean, I don't know what else to do. What all do you want from me, though? Oh, here we go, here we go. This guy with the mask. なんとも痛ましい様子じゃのうお主のように力あるものが何人もおれば防げたかもしれぬが
But for mere mortals, the aggressor was too strong. Tussle for territory, they clash for prey. Hunger now drives them to kill one another, and Minato is not the only casualty. Nature will be destroyed. Plants will wither, blizzards will howl, mountains will crumble until finally rising waters will cover it all. But in you is the power to stop this. I am the savior. And for you, you have the strength to hunt these gargantuan kimono. But do you have the will? What compels you to hunt now? So now what is my reason to hunt? Before it was just like, I like hunting. But now what is it? See, I answered this question before. I was dealt this question at the beginning of the game, right? There's, I don't want kimono driving humans out. There's money in rare kimono. I'm always looking for stronger kimono and the desire to answer that question for myself. The very first time I answered this question, I, I picked the... I picked the stereotypical Goku answer. It's like, I'm always looking for stronger kimono. I'm always looking for stronger a stronger challenge. But I think now I'm just going to say that I don't want kimono driving humans out. Ah, so your answer has changed. Well, yeah, because before I was solo, but now I've made friends. You must value life or all awaits, all that awaits is death. Above all, survive. All right. Nice, uh, good talk. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, my God. Yeah, this is what we're this is what we're doing. No, no, I fucked up. All right, son of a bitch, dude. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Can I just like not fucking do this? Oh, I need that. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Is it this tree that I'm hitting now? It's the tree, isn't it? It wasn't there before. Established territory around the old castle that resulted in ousted uh, Rasetsu's failed attempt at taking the spirit isle. We're seeing more and more kimono leaving their usual stomping grounds. There can only be one logical cause. All across the Zuma and perhaps beyond, the celestial thread that sustains Kimono is drying up. Explains why Matarasu targeted the town. Celestial thread is now an abundant supply. It's trying to absorb Minato into its stone territory, reviving the Katakuri on the Spirit Isle was cavalier. What's done is done. We have to eliminate this bird before it gets too damn comfortable. I agree. The burden is too great for a lone hunter. I disagree. We can be sure that it will return. It will be eager to conclude its territorial claim, and that's when we'll fucking ambush it. We'll set up an ambush. Ah. Okay. Ah. Now I gotta go up here. Holy cow, dude. Alright. Good thing I've got a zipline going up here already. 
Yeah, all these trees were not here before. Used to be another tower next to the spirit wheel. Yeah. And what I can tell studying the stone tablet, it was a weapon used to repel kimono. Ooh, that's cool. If we fixed the wheel and hooked another old karakuri into its mechanism, we should be able to make it work like the other tower did. Okay. Gather materials we need. Of course. It's a very old device and I can't put together things I have lying around. It's going to take some rare materials with unusual properties. As it happens, with kimono fighting each other for territory at the moment, their bodies seem to be undergoing changes. We might be able to get some sort of materials we need from these clashing kimono. Okay. But they're stronger than ever. Leave it to me. Let's go. Okay. The kimono in the surrounding wilderness have evolved into mighty kimono. New hunts are available in various parts of the wilderness. Mighty kimono. Uh, through changes in their territory, kimono in the surrounding wilderness can become stronger than usual. These mighty kimono are a source of new materials which can be used to further enhance your equipment. Take on these foes you've hunted before and build up the arsenal you'll need to defeat Amaterasu. Bet. And obtain the changing essence. Okay. Alright, so I get to hunt the mighty rage tail. Let's do it. Let's go beat this thing's ass. Hell yeah. Mm -mm -mm. These monsters are in for an ass kicking. All right, let's go ahead and eat real fast. Let's do one piece of meat. I need to get more meat. Because meat gives you, like, attack boost. And I desperately need some attack boost. Oh, okay. So you can also find... Uh, you can also find other things here, too. That's cool. So now you'll basically... Ooh, they changed that as well. I want some meat. Give me some meat. Yeah, I'm not fucking with that guy. We need this, uh... What is this? Millet? Okay. Can we get closer? No, this is literally the only way we can go. I don't want to fight you, bro. Fuck off. I'm literally not even here anymore. Lump of ore. Okay, so some of the materials that you can collect have changed as well. That's kind of cool. Alright. Alright, we're going to need a second box. Alright, homeboy's in here. We're just going to start the fight out with a bolstered strike. Mighty Rage Tail. Nope. You gonna come outside, big boy? Ah! 
Okay, I see. Oh shit. Okay, I need to get over to my... I probably don't need to be staying this low health. Shit. Shit. All right, let's heal up real fast before one of these little fuckers get me killed. This is easy mode, dude. Now that I'm getting better with the bow. It's easy mode, I'm telling you. Ah, crap. I missed a bunch of those. Yeah, it's gonna run now. Of course. Ah, uh, yeah, man. I'm getting better with this bow. I need to try out some of the other weapons, too. But the bow is just so much fun. So, I can say, though, that the, uh... The mighty Rage Tail kinda has the same moveset. Except there's like extensions onto the moveset. So when he when he leaps at you with his claws, the original version was just a leap with the claws, and if he missed, he missed. Well now when he leaps with his claws, he does a follow-up like 360 degree tail attack. Like that, and he swings with his tail. Got up. Yeah, luckily I was out of the way. I'd like to get like a really good fucking. Dang, dude. See, that was different. Whoop. Nah, son. All right, need to go collect these materials. Yoink. Hard Rage Tail Fang. So yeah, now that we are fighting the the mighty version of these things, we're gonna get better materials to further upgrade our weapons, which is nice. Very very nice. I still haven't broke his tail yet, though. I need to break his tail. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and break that. Ah! 
Alright, here we go. This is where the fight gets interesting. We're like super enclosed in here. Come on, baby girl. Easy money, kids. Easy money. Mighty. Get the fuck out of here. So far, the mighty versions of these things fucking suck. Let's go. Easy peasy. Changing essence. Perfect. Yeah! Frozen Fort Rage Tale. So there's a frost variation of this, huh? I do really like the aesthetic of this place. I mean, the graphics aren't perfect, but they are really good. I enjoy them. They do look really nice. Yeah, the bow is absolutely, absolutely bomb. There's so, there is so much you can do with this, with this bow. Alright, let's grab these. Is there a place where I've got more of these material collecting things? I might have to put more down here, actually. Now that I think about it, let's do that. See if we can. Yeah. So let's go. We don't ever really pull from that. But here's what we'll do. We'll put one like right. Can we put it right here? Put it right there. And then one right. Uh, nope. It's going to. Yeah, we can put it right there. I don't really give a shit. That way we can collect things that's not here. Worm. Decide what to hunt next. Okay, let's do the gluttonous aggressor, which is a, which is literally just a fucking sap scourge. Almighty sap scourge. Oh, I forgot about this. Dried veggies. All right, don't I have a? Yeah, it's it's way down here. I thought I I thought I'd move that. <clears throat> don't die. Oh ho ho, dude! I thought I was gonna die. All right, where are you? Hey, man. Hey, you gonna? There you go. I was wondering how long it's gonna take you to get in here. definitely want to play you definitely want to play apex all right play bolster twice hit him in his, we're gonna start with his noggin. Get his noggin boom oh, only 60 damage that's not good I forgot these things are actually harder
Oh, crap. I am stuck. Here we go. Let's, I forgot to eat again. Damn it. Trying to get that tail. That's what I'm looking for. Give me that. Damn it. He would be out of range. out our attack we'll just do defense i don't farm enough meat to to eat for attack boost i need to one of these days i need to like when i'm not streaming i need to get out here and farm some of these deer i need to farm some of these deer that give like attack boost with their meat Fast. Can we get that tail, please? Damn. 
Yeah, he really, he really doesn't want to have that tail. <clears throat> Bring me that tail, boy. I might go down here. Oh, I'm dead. He's gonna throw me and I'm gonna die. Yep, that's it, smack. Damn, that's what I get. Hold on a second. Gomen nasai. Tashiwa. Ramen o... Scooty Mashta. Oh, you made some ramen. Did I read that right? Gomenasai Tomodachi Watashiwa Ramen o Scooty Mashta. Did I read that right? Sono Sono Domaga Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's see. To, to Timo. Ah, oh, fuck. These kanji are fucking with me, dude. I'm going the wrong way. So they got. Yeah, the kan the kanji is getting to me. I don't. I can't fucking read the kanji, too. <laughs> like some of them, I I need to get back into Duolingo, bro. I really do. Game. Okay, so ah, uh, that's ke. Yeah, get. Ge, ge mu. I don't know why I thought that was ma, but that's mu. Yeah, ge mu. Ge mu. Fuck. I really need to get back into. Pop. Got his tail finally. Let's fucking go. Holy cow. Can we get a fully charged shot off on this gentleman? Bam! And there goes his horn. We're getting all the stuff from this guy. Holy shit! He grabbed me! <laughs> no! Please don't kill me again. He's gonna slam the fuck out of me. Boom. All right. We're gonna hide behind our wall and heal. All right, we gotta get, ooh. Yeah, if he hits us with that sap, we're fucked. This game is very cool. And the other one that is dangerous. Oh, Abu Nai. Abu Nai. Okay. That's it. Got him. Let's go. Using the voice tool on my keyboard, it literally puts the kanji with what you're saying. Oh, okay. This game is very cool, and the other one, the other one that is dangerous. Sore wa abunai. Yes, yes. This is very, this is very dangerous. These are the, uh, these are the mighty kimono, apparently, which are supposed to be stronger and give better materials for better weapons. 
there needs to be more monsters in this game. There are. There's apparently there's apparently more that I just haven't unlocked. Because you get to like late game in chapter four, and apparently there's like other there's other monsters, I think. I just haven't got there yet. game there's only 20 well they're gonna they're releasing more they've already they've already said that they're gonna release more but I'm I'm down for it man hell yeah we'll we'll see what happens if it's uh if it's like what 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 is it called? If it was like Monster Hunter Iceborne and it's gonna be a paid, it's gonna be paid. Uh, I don't know. I might get it, but I've already said I'm gonna be spending less money on like gaming, like game DLCs and shit. Collect. 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 We need like 50 more. I don't know about 50. 50 is a lot. Let's see. What else can we hunt? Mighty Blossom Trail Kimono Denizens. I can run that. I gotta hunt them both. See, then I could come over here and hunt like the Mighty version. What is that? Pearl Beak? Don't think I've hunt. I don't think I've hunted that before. Let's do the Mighty Dread Claw. Let's do Mighty Dreadclaw. I'm just going to hunt all of these real quick. And then we'll go back to Minato and see what kind of uh, weapons and armor we can get for them. But yeah, I need to get back on uh, learning Japanese, Nate. Like, I've, I've spent too long away from it. Like, there's still certain parts that I understand. Like, I can definitely still read Katakana. Uh, not a lot of... Uh, Oh, sorry. I can still read hiragana, but not a lot of katakana and hardly any kanji. So I, I really need to get back on my uh, on my grind when it comes to uh, when it comes to learning Japanese. We'll get there though. We'll definitely get there. Like it just it comes like the the desire to learn comes. In, wow, it comes and goes. But he's literally right here. It's perfect. All right, so we're just going to start loading them up. Oh, I should have rolled. I hate that. No, we want... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, man, I really should have. And I should have ate, too. Uh-oh. I've got to run. Oh, he got me. Damn. Yeah, these things are beating my ass if they hit me. It's all about not getting hit. I didn't eat either. Is he gonna let me eat this time? Nope. Can't eat. We're we're in combat now. it's on an incline dude I need to get him out here no sir heal Oh 
damn it. Damn it, he got me again. Oh my god. Okay, we might... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down here. Uh, we've already fucked up. We're gonna lose a lot. That's okay. We want some more sidestepper. Now. Now we go back. Now that we've ate. <laughs> Get a little bit of, a, bit of a, def a defense boost. Whoa! Okay, bro. I'm like in my hut. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, he's gonna, now he's gonna run. Okay. We'll get there. I'm in the same boat now and I've lost the memory of the Katakana. Yeah, same, me too. It's just, it's something you've gotta be constantly doing and you've gotta be immersed and you've gotta have like people to actually kind of speak with you and correct you if you're making mistakes and I just don't like we just don't really have people that are knowledgeable enough because like I can't correct you if you make a mistake unless like I know it's a mistake and if, I mean if I don't know then how are you supposed to know and then vice versa like you can't correct me if you don't know it's a mistake to begin with so I fucking hate these fucking ice dogs dude I swear Bro, you better get the fuck back. I will. I'm gonna end this guy right now. I'm not gonna have him like fucking up my combos. I didn't make it fast enough. Oh, you fuck. Uh-oh. 
here we go. Him. This guy's taking a lot of punishment, though. I need to heal before he, like, one hits me. Yeah, he's gonna leave. Alright, now we can collect some of these parts. Daisy's not as bad now because we finally got to, uh, we finally got a start and we found, like, ten Glock mags and one PD. So, is DayZ still like PvP or is it still more like zombie survival now? Like, I remember like when DayZ come out that it was more about the zombie survival aspect of the game. I'm not really sure if it's still that way. Cause I know you like you drop in on a, in a world and you like loot up and you survive like zombies and stuff, but I'm not entirely sure, like, if there's still PvP or not. One second, Ram. I'll get right back to you, man. I just gotta make sure I don't die to this fucking thing. Cause I'm like, I'm on my last life. <laughs> it's just gonna keep doing this bullshit until it falls and then you BAM! Don't run away. Don't run away. Got it, let's go. Bye, death chicken. We tend to focus more on PvP and nomadism, but zombies are a formidable, formidable problem. See, I, I remember like back whenever, like before Daisy was like a console game too, back when it was PC only, like it was more, it was more geared toward PvP and the zombies were just kind of a nuisance. Scum is more zombie and survival focused. What is what is scum? What is that? I always wanted to play DayZ though. But like the the zombie survival genre has been done to death now. Especially like the crafting survival. So like I don't know if I would still be interested in it anymore. I mean, there's nothing left to collect. There's literally stuff right here. Sons of the Forest has a modern crossbow. See, the only problem with Sons of the Forest is it's only PC right now. It hasn't. They haven't done a console port to it yet. So, like, I have to watch all of like the big YouTubers and stuff play it, and a couple people that I know that stream play it. 
and it makes me super duper jealous because I really like the game. And I'm a little bit upset that I can't play it. But we're definitely going to get there. We're definitely going to get there. Just not yet, apparently. Okay, let's see what we can hunt next. What's next on our list of things to murder? We have... Uh, let's do Spine Glider. We'll go Breezy Cape. No, don't join a session. Fuck. No. Unable to join. Thank God. Start quest as host. No. Depart immediately. Daisy's more realistic and way more in-depth and has a good has a story. Oh, okay. See, back when I was watching it, I was watching like Frankie on PC in 1080p, and he was literally just making up a story as he played like the PvP portion. He would just essentially write the story himself. But, uh, that's not the kind of fish I wanted. That doesn't have fucking fatigue alleviation. That does, though. I'll take that. Well, water resilience. I need that. There we go. IGP and Phase Jeb have pretty good playthroughs. Of Sons of the Forest? There's a guy that I watch. Uh, his name is uh, Mad Vlad. He's doing a forest play. He's doing a Sons of the Forest playthrough right now. He essentially he grew his channel on the original Forest game, and that's how I found him. Cause like whenever me and the wife was uh, playing it, we would watch him play it all the fucking time. And he was like he was like super over the top, and it was it was hilarious. We loved him. And if you inv ever invest in DayZ, me and my buddies can run a squad with you and. Uh, make your first experience better. Well, that's cool. I doubt I'll, I doubt I'll get it. If I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, Rimmer, I probably won't get it. It's just not my, uh, it's just not my thing. Are you dominating in Team Deathmatch, baby? No, no. What was no? Oh man, I tried to dodge it. Don't blame you at all. Like, it's not that it's a bad game. It's just like I've already kind of got. Oh shit! I thought I was able to dodge through that. Guess not. Oh, he's gonna like build him a little thing. Oh, he does that twice now. Okay, cool. Get down from there, sir. Oh, I fucked up. I missed. I totally missed. That's my bad. He's gonna do it again. Here we go. Maybe he doesn't just come straight down. There it is. Oh, uh, yep, of course. So if he catches me with the first one, he's going to catch me with the second one.
Can I get him? Oh, no. I should have just did a normal shot. That'll work, I guess. Biggest thing is not having a map. Yeah. In a game that's got, like, a, a, a large a large kilometer-based uh, map that has, like, a several points of interest when there's, like, several kilometers in between... Uh, in between, like, points of interest, having a map is definitely, like, needed. And, and it's not even the lack of a map that does it. It's just, like, the zombie survival thing is just not my thing anymore. I was big into it, like, you know, five, six years ago, but, like, that... That need... That need to play those games kind of diminished over time. Oh shit, he has a second part. Is he gonna jump up there now? Which one is he going to? He's going to that one. Fuck, he's probably gonna hit me with something. Yeah, I knew it. I gotta destroy these things either way. Oh, it actually hit him? Holy shit. to get a big one off on his tail. I don't know if it worked, but... Ouch, that's new. Did I pop that thing? That's crazy. We all have apps downloaded onto our phones to be able to navigate while driving. <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy that you can like download apps onto your phone that like help you play the game that should have a map with it. You know what I mean? That's a little, that's kind of a little crazy to be honest with you, but what do I know? That's cool, though. I'm, I'm not saying... Like I said, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it ain't for me. Everybody's got their stuff. I've definitely been wrapped up into more of, like, the... the This kind of game. Like, the monster hunting or, you know, Dark Souls type games. Like, I'm super... I'm super stoked for, uh... I'm super stoked for, uh... Elden Ring's DLC that's coming out pretty soon. Well, yell at someone to get their damn phone out while they're driving to a military base. Oh, man. Oh, I should have fucking known that was going to happen.
Look at all those. Ooh. Ooh, that was crazy. Kill him full of arrows. Come on, stop moving, dude. What the fuck? gonna run again after I've peppered him full of fucking arrows. PC DayZ has every gun imaginable. Has helis and the sickest looking armor sets and some actual story elements. It's just so much better. Yeah, I remember like a long time ago, like back in, I say a long time ago, like it was like forever ago, but like back in 2010, 2011, when people were like really clamoring for a console version of DayZ, and then they tried it out, and it was in early access for, like, what feels like forever. I'm gonna go ahead and grab whatever this is over here. This thing's about to die. There's no way. Oh, you motherfucker. Yeah, see, if he hits you with the first one, you're getting hit with the second one. It takes me a little longer with these guys. These mighty ones definitely take longer, but it's just because they have a bigger HP pool. And some of their moves are a little bit different. Ooh, I got an attack talisman. Let's go. Yeah, see, 10 minutes for a hunt? That would normally be like two minutes. It's just because these guys have so much more health. Modded PvP servers and making friends is fun. Well, yeah, making friends on any game is fun. And especially, like, if you can mod the game, mods make every game better, pretty much. There's not too many games that I've played that mods haven't made better. But, I mean, I suppose it all comes down to personal preference. Like, there's not too many games with mods that I've actually played. You know, since I'm not on PC, I don't get access to mods that often. So, like, essentially the only mod games that I've actually played is, like, Skyrim. And for the longest time, it was vanilla. It was vanilla crap mods. It was the only ones that we could get on PlayStation because you know Microsoft and uh, Windows are essentially the same thing. So PC and Xbox kids get all the good stuff. Where do I gotta go? Oh, I gotta go back up, don't I? We'll give these over real quick. Console does have custom servers just for PvP where guns spawn everywhere. Still sounds pretty fun, though. Oh, let's see what this story beat is. Is it supposed to be a dude? Because it looks like a fucking chick. Like a really old woman. I've never really looked at this character's face very, like, very closely. Yeah, most, most games are pretty fun. If, if you can get into them. A lot of games have their moments. There's even games that are super fun that I enjoy that have their moments of pissing me the fuck off. It happens. I mean, that's just uh, it's just something you got to deal with as a gamer. Some games are good. Some games are bad. Some games are better with friends. Some games aren't. 
Uh, when you pre your first IAR, M4, and mill base, I'm assuming that means looting. Uh, you got me. You're speaking Chinese at this point, man. All right, we gotta skip through this bit. None of us know what is battle with Amaterasu. Perhaps this would be a good time for you to have a think about which Karakuri might come in useful. When the unforeseen happens, simple Karakuri might just tip the balance in our favor. Well, if it's flying, I probably need uh, the torch. Oh man, am I going to have to uh, equip yourself with a spring and a stake? Okay. New armor can be forged. Oh, let's check that out. Make the necessary preparations and then talk to Ujishigi. Ujishigi. What kind of armor can we make now? Let me scroll over. No, not those. What is this? Minato Guardians Uwagi. A pearl... Peril Promise. Triggers a hunter's arm state when an ally is close to death. Uh, rapid Rescue. Shortens the time needed to save allies. Okay, this is like... Uh, this is like for... Uh, Co-op, it looks like. Resurrection Stance. Boost attack and defense after saving an ally. Okay, yeah, this is definitely... That's definitely... Blossom Trail Mingu. Harvester. Boost the amount of materials that can be harvested by finishing small kimono. Rapid rescue. Did that one already. Miracle water. Reduces the effects of healing water, but enables nearby allies to recover as well. That's cool. LARs and M416s are super rare and powerful, and they all two-tap plate carriers. Holy shit. That sounds awful. <laughs> Boost the amount of materials can be harvested by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Nimble Finger? Boost the rate at which healing water can be drunk. That's cool. Oh, did I just... Did I just get, like, better versions of, like, all the other gear? Ooh, health boost and dodge boost. Extends the period of invincibility when dodging attacks. That's actually kind of... That's actually kind of goaded. I just oh I don't have the stuff for it yet. Uh, let's see thread file uh, thread file. Yeah, we're just gonna be checking out some of this uh, acquisition art. Occasionally boost the amount of materials obtained. That would be good for just a farming build. Tangle resilience decrease the chance of becoming entangled. I'm gonna plug a goddamn KBM into my system, a keyboard and mouse into my system, play Daisy with how bad the controller aim is. Do it. There's nothing stopping you, really, right? Uh, let's see. Great Juniper body armor. Uh, yeah, these are all just recolors, essentially, but they apparently give you more stuff. Ooh, that's good. That's got a plus three Savage and a plus five health boost. So these feet is gonna... Th this feet's gonna be great. I mean, health and damage. That's, that's fucking fire. I'm seeing a lot of health boosts on a lot of these. This is core boost. I, I, that, I need core boost. So this and this, because core boost gives me more stamina. Maximum stamina is going to be pretty good. Uh, this gives savage. What is death well? Lengthens the period of time in which you can be saved when you're close to death. That's PV. That's, that's like co-op stuff. Okay, so that's it. That's all I've gotten so far. Even just these two pieces right here is going to be really good. I don't really care about presence of mind that much. It inhibits stamina loss when only a single life thread remains. I never really want to be in that situation. But the 16% recovery boost is going to be nice. And then these, uh, this attack, uh, plus 3 attack boost and plus 5 health boost is going to be really nice. Uh, as much as I like the appearance of this headpiece here, it's not gonna do me too much good. And there's obviously, like, different paths that you can take here, too. 
Well, that's cool. We'll, we'll get into those at some point. Just probably not going to be today. What about weapons? Can I see, like, more weapon stuff? Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. More weapon upgrades. Let's fucking go. Let's see. My current damage is 117. Let's take it up to 195. I need small kimono membrane and a sharp scale, which I'm assuming I get from, uh... Which I'm assuming I get from other stuff. Ah, uh, see, now this is where it's going to be weird. I've got to take... I've got to take a really good look about what I want to use and which route that I want to go down. Because I feel like the right side is definitely more uh, raw damage. At least from this first half. Because I still got to get down here to these gold weapons. I'm just now getting into the blue and purple ones. Hmm. Let's see. I don't like any of those so far. And this doesn't have any inherent skills, so that's kind of shit. Uh, let's see. Entangler. Makes it possible to leave Kimono entangled by landing successive strikes. That's actually kind of cool. Sidestepper. Sidestepper's pretty dope. Battle Spirit. Boosts, uh, boost attacks against enraged Kimono. That's actually pretty nice. And then boost attack after destroying a part of a kimono. That's actually pretty good, too. Uh, and you'd get... I would... Uh, going this path, if I went down and then over, and then this way, I should be able to inherit Savage, uh, leave Earth Wilt. But I should be able to pick up a Savage and uh, One Stroke Fury, and then the Battle Spirit. This is gonna, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a wild ride, I think. Because, like, I'm just now getting into the expanded weapon tree. And it looks like it's gonna take me a little bit. Boost attack when Karakuri threat is run out. Uh, this is critical master, battle paragon. Boost attack power against kimono weaknesses. I just got the urge to archery deer hunt. I don't know, man. There's something about, like, the bow in these games and, like, Monster Hunter in this game. Like, I... It took me a little while, but once I started using the bow in both of these games, they're actually kind of nice. They're, they're way better than I thought they were going to be. Like, the bow in this game felt super clunky at first, but it's, it's definitely something you got to get used to. But once you do, like, you can really... You can really put some damage into some of these things. Season ended in January. Oh, so you haven't been hunting in a fucking hot second. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to get into that stuff at some other time. Ooh. All the seasons are over. That's how it goes, man. It goes it goes year to year. So you gotta be You gotta get your time in while you can. My dad has the same stuff. Like because he only gets so much time to actually hunt, he only gets to hunt like on the weekends occasionally. Cause he works every other weekend. So he, he takes as much time as he can to hunt. And that's that's just part of it, man. You gotta get your you gotta get your hunts in when you can. I'm glad you had a good time uh, this year, man. I just gotta get rid of all this stuff. Go ahead and save that. But yeah, I'm glad you had a good time, bro. And I hope you guys had a good time. I hope I, I hope I did a good enough job explaining uh, explaining how this shit works. Yeah, we're going to kind of wind down a little bit. Because it's nearly, it's nearly 10 o'clock here, so I've got to... Huh. 
I've got to start winding down and get ready for work tomorrow. Hunted every day the first week and then stop for a while because I filled a tag. Yeah, you can only you can only you can only hunt so many things. Like once you fill your tag up, don't you have to go get another tag? Or is it only just for like? Well, how do the tags work, Rim? I don't I don't I don't completely understand the tags. I get that like there's a certain amount of things that you can hunt, or you know, the certain amount of whitetail or whatever kind of deer that you hunt up there. had my buck tag yet i filled my doe tag so you've got to get tags for both bucks and does to give you like <clears throat> to give you the ability to hunt both but it's like what if you can only hunt like could have uh killed three this year but only filled one so so how do the tags work exactly as far as like kind of walk me through that in like the simplest terms that you can so if you get a if you get a doe tag, how many on one singular tag can you kill? Can you hunt? I should say that. How many can you hunt on one singular tag? So if you just got a doe tag, how many does can you hunt? You get a buck tag when you buy a license? Okay, so the buck tag comes so one per tag. So when you get your license, you get the buck tag automatically, and then you can buy a doe tag. So you can hunt one doe and one buck per season do you have to go i would assume that once you fill a tag you have to go buy another tag right i haven't went hunting in like 15 years bro so yeah you gotta ask the government for a tag yeah i figured i haven't been hunting in 15 years i used to go hunting with my dad a lot and then once i got my first buck it was a six point uh that was enough for me like I was using his uh I was using his 270 cuz it was it was shortly after he fell out of a tree back in 2008 uh I one shot it and just like once once I'd got it that was enough for me like I just didn't have that like urge to hunt anymore You're ahead of me in buck size Well it's my only one That's the year I was born was 2008 <laughs> Yeah, when uh yeah, when you were born, I got my first buck. Not at the same time, obviously. That'd be weird if the timing was the exact like down to the second. How fucking weird would that be? But yeah, uh my dad had fallen out of a tree like uh it might have been 2009 when I got it cuz my dad was uh still struggling to get around. So he had his uh he had his pistol and then he gave me the 270. And uh, we were just hunting out of a stand over a green field. And uh, I got my first one. You know, put the crosshairs right behind the shoulder blade. You know, squeeze the trigger and it dropped where it stood. But like after that, like that was it. That was the last time that I went hunting. I'd hope you weren't deer hunting in July. No, of course not. Some people do. Some people do that weird shit that's illegal where they fucking spotlight deer. But, no. No, it was definitely, uh, <laughs> it was definitely in the, in the proper season. The legal season. But, But yeah, I guess uh, I guess I'm gonna get out of here, man. I wanna thanks a lot for hanging out and chatting with me. I know some of these streams can get a little can get a little boring, but it is what it is. I'm just grabbing content. It's it's legal in some places to deer hunt at night. Oh damn, I didn't know that. But I wanna I wanna say thank you, man. You're always here, always. So I appreciate the dedication and the support. But uh, it's about past my bedtime, man. I gotta get, I gotta get stuff rolling and uh, kind of relax for the rest of the night. But uh, I will see you on Thursday with another stream. I would imagine I might do some Call of Duty, maybe if I can get enough people on. I know typically you're always down for some Call of Duty, so might end up doing another Call of Duty stream on Thursday. I wanted to do like, I wanted to do like a. A beer tier list 
but unfortunately I was told that I have to work this Friday so I can't I can't necessarily get hammered and then like go to work with a hangover that would kill me I want to do a couple tier lists though I want to like do like candy tier list burger tier list fast food like get a, get a bunch of like stuff from fast food places and like put it on a tier list that'd be pretty fun but yeah that's it for me i'm gonna get out of here thanks for so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye love you